Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Somebody huge at NBC News just got caught in horrible sexual assault case. This is bad. This Tuesday Mika Brzezinski came out and reported the following, now to a story that broke overnight, involving someone you see around this table every day. CNN is reporting allegations about our friend Mark Halperin. We will be following this story as it develops. I'm sure we will be talking about it again when we know more. A veteran political journalist, named Mark Halperin, has now taken a step back from his day-to-day -day work after reports came out that he was engaging in sexual misconduct. Huge update, Halpern now does not work at NBC. Mike Halpern last showed up on Morning Joe on Tuesday. It turns out that the people are on cable are just as sick as the sickos in Hollywood. According to three women, who spoke to left-wing CNN in 2000s, said that Halpern pressed his penis against them. To one woman, he just kissed me and grabbed my boobs. He was fully clothed. One woman said that while Halpern was in the officer for their first meeting that he came up behind me and, pressed his body on mine, his penis, on my shoulder. Halpern said the following, I did pursue relationships with women that I worked with, including some junior to me. He does admit that my behavior was inappropriate. It seems that the liberals in the left-wing media are just as sick as their counterparts. Share this everywhere to show America the real NBC News. Will you ever watch them again? Debbie Wasserman Schultz just panicked. Look what she said about working with Russia. Debbie Wasserman Schultz said that she was not aware that the Russian dossier was funded by the DNC. This is funny. The DNC's current president Tom Perez threw her under the busy with the following statement yesterday. Tom Perez and the new leadership of the DNC were not involved in any decision-making regarding Fusion GPS, nor were they aware that Perkins Coie was working with the organization. Hillary can't take the truth. The DNC's chairman Keith Ellison also threw Schultz under the bus. Tom and me, we weren't even there at the time, Ellison told The Hill. I know as much about it as you guys WHO have reported IT. Debbie Wasserman Schultz spokesperson came forward and said the following. She was not aware of anything related to this research arrangement, spokesman David Dameron said. The Democrats are denying, denying, denying. They are now all collectively throwing Hillary under the bus. It seems that nobody has her back anymore. The rats are jumping off he ship. Share this if you think Hillary needs to go to jail and Debbie can go too. Busted IRS Tea Party targeter Lois Lerner just got some bad news in court. This has been a winning week for President Trump and conservatives everywhere. First, The Washington Post reported that Hillary Clinton and the DNC were the ones that funded the salacious anti-Trump dossier. Now, the American people finally got some justice after the IRS admitted wrongfully targeting conservative groups in court on Wednesday. The IRS blamed former senior executive Lois G. Lerner, who had been responsible for handling nonprofit status applications. Lerner apparently made it very difficult for conservative groups to achieve nonprofit status. These groups waited years to be approved nonprofits and were subjected to enhanced and unnecessary scrutiny by the hundreds. The consent agreement filed by the IRS names and shames Lerner, saying. The then director of the O Division, Lois Lerner, first became aware that the IRS received applications from Tea Party groups as early as April or May 2010. For the next two years, Lerner failed to adequately manage the EO division employees who processed these applications. Moreover, Lerner failed to inform upper-level IRS management of the serious delays in processing applications for tax-exempt status from Tea Party and other politically sensitive groups. This is a long time coming, 
but it is great to see some accountability in the federal government, especially when it comes to Obama administration officials. Can you imagine if Hillary had been elected? Who knows if Lerner would ever have been called out? Love seeing Obama's people go down? Good to finally be vindicated? Share this out and spread the news. H.T. Washington Times What Trump just told Lou Dobbs will have journalists sweating in their sleep tonight. Trump went on Lou Dobbs tonight to discuss several things with Lou Dobbs and then turned to Lou and ripped apart the media. According to Lou Dobbs, Trump is one of the most hated presidents by the left while also being one of the most loved and respected. I thought it was treated unfairly by the press during the campaign, Trump exclaimed. I thought the good news is now they will start treating me well. But they got much worse. They put on stories on CNN and NBC and CBS and ABC, and the MSNBC which is ridiculous. They put on stories that are so false, they have so-called sources that in my opinion don't exist. Trump then said that there is nothing more fake than CBS, NBC and ABC and CNN when you look at some of these stories and look at the amount of negative. I know a good story from the bad story. But when you have a good story and they make it bad. The president is absolutely right. He then said pointed out that only Sean Hannity and Lou Dobbs have treated him fairly. Share this if you are so tired of how crappy our media treats our president. Let's show him some love for all the crap that he has to face day in and day out. Jeff Sessions just did something seconds ago that has all the rats scurrying in Washington. This is breaking. The gag order has been lifted. According to Lou Dobbs, the secret FBI informant that was threatened by Obama's administration to keep quiet about Russian bribes in the Uranium One scandal. President Obama received information on Russia's criminal collusion with the State Department and yet the Obama administration approved the sale of 20% of the nation's uranium to the Russians. According to a statement released to Fox News. In a statement, the department said it had authorized the informant to discuss the 2013 agreement, known as Uranium One, and related matters with the leaders of the Senate Judiciary Committee, the House Oversight Committee, and the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. The informant should invest in some good security. Share this if you agree. What Trump just secretly did to take down Hillary Clinton last night is the talk of the town. According to Fox News' John Roberts, sources have relayed that President personally gave the instructions to the Justice Department to lift the gag order on the Clinton Uranium One informant. Trump is moving behind the scenes to drain the damn swamp it seems. Lou Dobbs reported that the Justice Department had authorized the FBI informant in the scandal to give documents to congressional investigators. GOP lawmakers have launched probes into the 2010 era deal when Hillary Clinton was President Obama's Secretary of State, says the New York Post. President Trump is showing us true leadership. He is going to do what the FBI and the Justice Department failed to do before. Now, Senator Chuck Grassley, ARIA, and Representative Devin Nunes, RCA, are leading the way. Share this so that Hillary knows what's coming for her soon. Paul Ryan just did something incredible for Trump today and Democrats are st Republican lawmakers passed the budget bill today in the U.S. House. It was a very close vote. The vote passed 216 to 212 and had zero Democrat votes. Amen to Mill. President Trump cheered on the good news. This means that the Congress can now move on to important things like passing tax cuts for American workers. The House Republicans just did something. It seems that Paul Ryan came through. Now, let's see him pass Trump's tax cuts. Share this if you want tax cuts. Screw the elites that don't want the American people to get a break. 
G this out there if you are proud of Trump.